Samsung's most powerful flagship is stuck in the past, and no one's talking about it. While the company's newest foldables are already running the future with one UI 8 baked in, the Galaxy S25 series is sitting on the sidelines waiting. But here's the twist. Some older phones are leapfrogging the S25 and getting the update first. What's going on? Why is Samsung delaying its own top tier device? The full picture might surprise you. Welcome back, viewers. James here. If you're into leaks, surprises, and smart updates without the fluff, go ahead and like, share, and subscribe. Let's jump into it. One UI 8 isn't just another visual refresh. It's built on Android 16 and quietly packs serious polished, smarter AI features, smoother animations, refined good lock tools, a cleaner notification bar, and even an improved DeX mode. It's not flashy, but it feels tighter, faster, and more efficient. And yet the Galaxy S25 lent up the current crown jewel in Samsung's non-foldable empire, still hasn't received it, foldables got it first. And now, even some fan edition models are next in line. That's right, the Galaxy S20 FE in the US and Canada is being tested on One UI 8 as we speak. An older device getting the same futuristic update potentially before the flagship. That's not just unusual, it's unprecedented. Normally, the latest S series phones get first dibs. This time, the S25 is trailing behind despite being newer, faster, and way more expensive. Samsung started beta testing for One UI 8 on the S25 back in May. Since then, we've seen three beta versions roll out roughly two weeks apart. After beta 3, users thought, okay, next stop, stable release. But nope. Samsung threw a curveball. A fourth beta is now on the way. No confirmed stable rollout date, just a vague promise soon. According to Samsung's Korean community post, the delay is due to extended testing and stability checks. They're trying to squash bugs and avoid another messy rollout like we've seen in the past. And sure, that sounds good, better to wait than deal with glitches, but the silence around the timeline has frustrated a lot of S25 owners. And here's the thing, beta 3, it was already pretty stable. No major issues, no critical bugs. Most users said it felt polished enough to go public. So what's Samsung really holding back for? Meanwhile, Samsung's foldables, launched just six months after the S25 series, shipped with One UI 8 right out of the box. It's like the software team pressed fast forward on foldables and left the S25 in buffering mode. That shift says a lot about how Samsung is prioritizing its product lines. Foldables are clearly the new favorite child. Even more interesting, Samsung seems to be reshaping its entire update rhythm. Instead of giving major Android version updates to the Galaxy S series first, they're now debuting those updates with foldables mid-year and saving the more refined 0.5 versions for early the next year alongside the new S series phones. Which brings us to One UI 8 5. Recently just confirmed it. Samsung is officially prepping One UI 8.5 and it's set to launch with the Galaxy S26 lineup in early 2026. The update was spotted in the firmware for the S26 Ultra, and now it's clear Samsung's new strategy is unfolding. Big updates first hit the foldables, then the S series gets the polished remix. So here's where it all comes together. If you're using a Galaxy S25, you're in a weird limbo. You're holding a flagship that's waiting for an update that's already live elsewhere. And while you wait, Samsung is silently preparing the next big jump, One UI 8.5, on a phone that hasn't even launched yet. Now, let's be fair, this delay could mean Samsung's taking quality control seriously. Maybe they're doing everything they can to ensure One UI 8 lands smoothly on the S25 lineup. But the communication, that's where things fall short. No solid date, no clear roadmap, just more betas and vague promises. It's not the best look for a flagship update. If the fourth beta drops next week and it's stable, the final rollout could happen sometime in August. But again, there's no guarantee, so if you're waiting, you've got two options. One, join the beta program and test the new features early, glitches and all. Or two, sit tight, skip the bugs and wait for the stable build. Either way, it's a patience game. The bigger picture, Samsung's update strategy is clearly evolving, but it's not exactly user-friendly yet. For now, Galaxy S25 users are in an awkward spot, waiting for the future while watching other devices get there first. Hopefully with One UI 8.5 and the Galaxy S26, Samsung brings more clarity and less chaos. Until then, keep an eye on Beta 4, that's the next turning point. And if it finally unlocks the stable version, you'll know right here, 